Well, here is the first sign of the world coming down against Israel, uh, and it will uh, begin by the year's end. And headline reads that the French, dipl French diplomat, we mo will move forward on our peace initiative by year's end. And the article says Pierre v Vermont, I guess that's how you pronounce his name, France's special envoy for the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, said at a conference in Tel Aviv on Sunday that it was his government's intention to move forward on the French peace initiative by the end of this year. The conference was held by the Marco Center for Political Economics and the Institution for National Security Studies. Vermont uh, said that the current status quo was uh, distancing the two-state solution and ne necessitating intervention. We want to revive the two-state solution in this window of opportunity and return it to the international agenda. Well, in response to this announcement, Israel uh, fired back and said, Israel will not participate in an international conference on the peace process hosted by France, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's top aides declared on Monday. Well, all I can say is that this seems to be uh, really good timing on the part of uh, France. And it certainly wouldn't shock me if uh, President Obama came out on Wednesday or sometime in the very near future and said that, uh, the United States will uh, recognize the Palestinian state and that they stand behind the French uh, initiative. So it seems to me that this is probably going to be the direction that the U.S. will take, and I have to have to, have to believe that the, the French have already heard what Mr. Obama is going to do, and they've been in discussions, and uh, the timing, I'm sure, is not accidental. But we will have to wait and see what happens after the election and see what Mr. Obama does bring to the table and does what announcements he does make. And certainly, if uh, you're not anticipating voting tomorrow, uh, I would encourage you to get out and do so. I heard an announcement the other day said the difference between uh, every election has been an average of 5 million votes. Well, there are many times that many uh, Christians who just simply fail to vote. So I'm not trying to tell you how to vote, but I'm trying to tell you that if you get out and vote the way the Lord would have you to vote according to the Bible, uh, I think that uh, what the Lord wants would be uh, initiated. And again, let me say this, I'm not advocating either one of the candidates because I don't think either one of them are that, uh, I'm, not, I'm not high on either one of them. What I will say that is whatever candidate has control of the White House will have control over uh, the judges and the Supreme Court justices. They will select those people who will have a lifetime to turn this country liberal, whereas whoever wins the election will probably have only four or eight years. But the power that they hold in their hands uh, to change this, the United States will be long-lasting and catastrophic. So vote for the party that you know will stand behind Christian values, and that's simply uh, uh, the way I'll be voting. And if you don't know the Lord today, today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. 150,000 people will die today. And the vast majority of them, the Bible says, will end up in a burning hell. I encourage you today to make your decision for Christ and don't wait. And certainly you Christians, get a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide. It's free. There are nine, there will be in fact, nine languages uh, for this free book in the very near future. But if you're one who would rather hand your lost loved one a copy, then go down to the uh, description in this video and uh, select where you can get a uh, paperback version of this uh, book and purchase it and hand it to your lost loved one. And let me just say one last thing about the report that I'm presenting. If in fact the Obama administration and the French have been talking, you can, this is uh, what I believe to be very prophetic because what I believe will be next will be the, uh, with the United States on board with the French uh, resolution or initiative. Uh, what you're going to see is the European Union taking the lead, which the Bible says that they will in uh, uh, Daniel 9 and 25 to 27. And if that is the case, then I can't see that the rapture can't be uh, uh, too far away. Now, again, I'm not date setting. I'm not telling you that the rapture is going to happen at any given time. I'm just saying that these are signs that the tribulation period could be near. And before that takes place, the rapture of the church must happen. So if, in fact, the uh, European Union does begin to take the lead role in the uh, peace process, we could be staring in the face what the Bible has talked about for thousands of years. And as I've said many times, there are a lot of things out there that people are trying to 
wrap around uh, the Bible than, and call it prophetic. But the truth of the matter is, if they're not talking about peace with many and for seven years with Israel and uh, the Antichrist, uh, they're simply on the wrong page. Because that will be what will start the seven-year tribulation period. Not all these crazy uh, different conspiracy theories or space uh, theories, whatever the case may be. It will be the seven-year tribulation period that will have a seven-year peace agreement that will begin that period. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.